It's Saturday the 26th of October 2019. It's 13.51 local time. This is Joseph with the news. First the headlines. Lorry deaths, the photos of the missing people, have been handed to police. In sport, England defeat another team to reach the Rugby World Cup final. The family of missing British backpacker flies out to Cambodia. A convicted Russian agent is released from a US prison. The Prime Minister is to keep asking for an election even if Labour, the opposition party, keeps saying no. And now, the news in full. A Vietnamese website in the UK has given police around 20 photos of people reported missing since 39 people were found dead in a lorry in Essex. The community site said it was given the photos by families and has handed them to the police. It has asked relatives not to post the images online. It follows the discovery of 39 bodies inside a refrigerated lorry container at an industrial park in the UK on Wednesday. Initially, the police reported that these bodies were all of Chinese nationals, although now the story has been changed to say all of the victims were Vietnamese. England are through to the Rugby World Cup final after a stunning victory over reigning champions New Zealand in Japan. The final score in the knockout semi-final clash, which Eddie Jones's squad dominated throughout, was 19-7. England will now face either Wales or South Africa, who play their semi-final on Sunday. The family of a missing 21-year-old British backpacker is flying out to Cambodia to join the search for her. Amelia Bambridge from Worthing was last seen at a beach party on Khao Rong Island at 3am on Wednesday. A Foreign Office spokesperson said it was assisting the family of a British woman reported missing in Cambodia and had been in close contact with Cambodian police. The 21-year-old was travelling on her own for the first time and had been due to check out of the Nest Beach Club hostel on Friday. Her mother, Linda Bambridge, said her daughter had since been declared officially missing. Convicted Russian agent Maria Butina has been released from a U.S. prison and deported after serving most of her 18-month sentence. The 31-year-old had been held in a Florida prison since her conviction for conspiring to influence U.S. conservative activists and infiltrate a powerful gun rights group. Butina was released on Friday morning and taken into custody by U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement authorities before leaving on a direct flight to Moscow, the American government said in a statement. Boris Johnson will keep asking for a general election if his opposition play what has been described as 
fast and loose over going to the polls, a government minister has claimed. The Prime Minister will make a third attempt on Monday to get MPs, that's Members of Parliament, to support an early election. This time on 12th of December, having failed twice last month to get the House of Commons to back him. However, the opposition leader Jeremy Corbyn has maintained his position that he will only agree with Mr Johnson's call for an election if the possibility of a no-deal Brexit is off the table. That's the headlines for today, the 26th of October 2019. Please join me again soon and subscribe to other podcasts at www.teacherjoseph.com. Thank you and goodbye.